All right. I'm gonna do a little blower motor replacement this morning. install hmm. this is a 2004 ICP See, it was leaking oil. Still works, still functions. No noise, but uh, definitely oily. So we're gonna get her changed out. And on these units, pretty easy to get the blower assembly out. Disconnect pull, obviously. We'll be changing out that capacitor. Anytime you change out a blower motor, it's good practice. Hopefully y'all are seeing this because I'm doing this chest mount GoPro for at least testing it out, see how I like it. Get lots of guys always wanting to see the actual work done instead of clips, so we'll give this a try, see how folks like it. As you can see, this ring goes all the way around. So all you do is take out these uh, motor mount bolts and the blower, this ring, and the wheel will all come out. So you don't have to actually take the housing out. So it makes it uh, pretty convenient. So, <clears throat> what 
I usually do. You can see how rusted that is. So, loosen that set screw. You can see the motor drop down. So, hopefully, you can see you got the clean spot there. And then we'll sand the dirty section, the rusty section. Usually with a wire wheel. Something like that. Just a little splash of WD-40. And most of the time, they come off just like that. Not always, but most of the time. So we just need to uh, break this belly band off. Figuratively. I just lay this plastic down because uh, I'm not interested in paying for carpet or carpet cleaning. She's pretty well coated in oil. And this is an OEM motor. Everything's the same. One fifth horsepower, 950 RPM, 1.4 amps. It uses a five microfarad capacitor. Also, even though I didn't show it, I kind of pay attention to where the pigtail comes out of the motor just to orient the bracket. It makes it a little bit easier when you go to install it. Not so much on this one because you can pretty much rotate the uh, rotate the entire shroud anywhere you really want it. So it's not, not nearly as a pain in the butt if you don't get it right. And then I'll just snug it up just a little. And kind of move stuff around. Make sure everything's even. Make sure the legs are getting caught where they need to be. Before you go on and tightening her all the way down. like that don't forget to put this ring on before you put the wheel on unless you like doing things over again and 
usually mark roughly where this wheel came out. It's about a about an inch. speed it's only a two-speed motor but high speed nevertheless you want to make sure these spades are nice and tight loose connections are bad connections steal this little cap here toss that on our unused fan speed just like that capacitor will go back over there and ground Microfarad. say is that we'll go ahead and throw some power to it go adjust this thermostat oh didn't even have to perfect tone blower is up a little It's a little higher than it's rated for, I believe. 1.4. But once you put this door on, that amp draw is going to drastically drop. There's just no real, no real way of me orienting that door in here and still being able to check amp draw. No 
rubbing, no grinding, no funny noises, so everything is good with that. We just got to button her back up, throw the door back on, plug her back in, and we're off to the next one. But yeah, this is a, uh, a little bit different than what I would consider the ordinary blower motor changes, especially around here apartments and things like that you're going to see a lot of a lot more of these style units which i call ff style units because i'm a carrier dealer so the ff units basically have a free return which is just a return grill you can see typical setup like you would see in like an apartment this is just a bonus room upstairs yeah, pretty uh, pretty straightforward. So we'll wait for it to come back on one more time, make sure no unusual noises. And uh, yeah, we'll be putting this cover back on and cleaning up our mess and getting up out of here. So hope you like this uh, newer style video. If you guys like it, I'll continue to make them. If you want me to go back to the old way, just let me know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.